So I just connected my Jet KVM over to my Minilab server, and you can see over here in the top right, we can see that the Jet KVM device is connected. It also can see that the USB is connected, and the device can tell if HDMI isn't connected, if Ethernet isn't connected, however it might work, and it'll, it'll tell you so you know if something's wrong. On the physical Jet KVM to connect, it's going to show you an IP. You can just go to a browser and type that IP in. It'll bring you over there. When it first connects, it's going to ask if you want to set up a password or just have it to be unauthenticated. You can adjust that later on by going to settings and then access, and you can change it so you could have a password or not. They also have their cloud that they're using right now. If you are interested, we can come over here, and it's going to go into more detail about that page that we were looking at before. Personally, I'm not going to use this at this time, but if you are interested, you can check it out. We have other options in here, such as some advanced, so you can go into some different modes for developer or troubleshooting. There's appearance, so we can change this over to a dark mode, which is ideal. We can mess with our hardware a little bit if you're interested. I, I'm going to leave all this default because I really don't want to mess anything up just yet. And then over here, we can check for updates, and we can apply updates over the network. So you can see over here, mine's up to date right now. So it must have updated because when I was testing with it, it wasn't. So it must have auto-updated. And then it looks like it did it because it's checked off. Over here in the top right, we can go through, and you can see that it says it's connected. And it also can tell that the USB is connected. So the device is able to tell if HDMI, Ethernet, or whatever isn't connected, and it will prompt you saying so. We have a virtual keyboard that we could pop out to use to connect, type into our system. So you can see over here that I am typing. You can send wake on LAN packets if configured on your devices. You can set up a device and then you could wake it up on LAN over there. It does have a virtual media function. So if you do want to upload ISOs to install ISOs onto machines, or maybe you need to push DVDs or something through, you can through this. And then also it could paste text. So if I do want to type in maybe my username, you can see over here, it just pushed it through, and I'll, I'll do it again just to display it again now with no erroneous text. So we'll just put that through, and you can see over here, it passed it through. So if you are in some prompts and maybe you can't type, you can pass through text through this tool. We have some connection stats where we can see info about our KVM connection. If you do have any of the extension tools, you can connect those in right there and use them. And then we talked about settings, and other than that, you could have a full screen option of your KVM. Just to show how it can work, I'm actually already signed in, so if, you know, if I want to work on my server, like I was mentioning, maybe my SSH connection's failing, maybe the web UI isn't coming up, I can connect my Jet KVM, and over here I can start running some commands.